Welcome back, children, to the part three of the electricity tutorial. Are you ready for the more challenging questions? Let's first recap what is this electrifying strategy. Do you still remember? And this strategy is trace the path from the battery to the bulb and back to the battery again. If the path is closed, which means that there's no electrical insulators along the path, the circuit is closed and current can flow through. This means that the bulb will light up. Now, let's take a look at this question. Which switches must you close such that only two bulbs will light up? For this question, I am given four options. I will use guess and check and check which option is actually correct. For each option, I will trace all possible close paths to the bulbs shown in the circuit. In this circuit, there are four bulbs. One, two, three, four. Let's now look at option one. S1 and S2 are closed. There are two batteries in this circuit. We will take a look at this battery first. For this red path, these two bulbs will lack up. Now, we have to check whether these two bulbs will form any close path with this battery here. Let's start with this bulb. Now, I will try to trace a path from the battery to the bulb and back to the battery again. Is this path closed? This path is an open path because of the open switch in S4. This bulb will not light up. Now, let's take a look at this bulb. Trace a path from this battery to the bulb and back to the battery again. This is an open path because of the open switch in S3. This bulb will not light up. We are not done examining all the possible close paths for this option yet. We still need to form the possible close path with this battery here. Since these two bulbs will lack up, we will focus our attention on these two bulbs. We will look at this bulb first. We will try to trace a path from this battery through the bulb and back to the battery again. This path passes through two bulbs, this and this. This is an open path because of the open switch in S4. These two bulbs will not light up. So for option 1, with S1 and S2 closed, only two bulbs will light up. And this is our answer. It's now time to practice what you have just done. Try out this strategy on the next three options. Pause the video now so that you can work out the answers. How many bulbs will lag up if the switches are closed? This is the answer for option 2. No bulb will lag up. For option 3, only one bulb will lag up. And now for option 4, all the four bulbs will lag up. 